ahead of the trick-or-treating season, border officials in Texas discovered this, more than $400,000 worth of liquid methamphetamine that was allegedly hidden inside pumpkins during a vehicle inspection. Uh, take a look at your screen. Officials seizing the narcotics vehicle, turning the driver and passenger over to the custody of Maverick County Sheriff's Office deputies for further investigation. We'll keep an eye on this story. I come to you today not only as a United States Senator, but as a fellow American concerned about the health of our nation's youth this Halloween. The powerful drug cartels are coming after your kids, your neighbors, your students, your family members, and your friends. Fake pills laced with fentanyl are beginning to look like candy in an effort to lure young Americans. This epidemic is exploding, which is why this Halloween, Let's join forces and look out for one another. Only let kids get candy from trusted neighbors, family, and friends. Set a curfew for your trick-or-treaters. Always double and triple check their candy for drugs or suspiciously packaged or unpackaged items. That is Senate Republicans releasing that powerful PSA warning parents about the dangers of rainbow fentanyl. It comes after the Drug Enforcement Agency releasing multiple warnings about fentanyl potentially targeting young children. And Missy Terragino is the mother of Kaylee. That is a high schooler who was just 17 years old when she lost her life to fentanyl poisoning in 2021. And Missy joins us live now. And Missy, thank you so much for doing so and the bravery that you showed today to speak with other parents about this as this is such an important message, especially around this time of year. Um, if I can ask, uh, talk to the viewers about who Kaylee was and back to that moment, what exactly happened? Um, yeah, good morning. My daughter was 17 years old. Um, we lost her. It was actually 18 months ago yesterday. Um, you know, she was the middle child, my only daughter. Um, so smart, you know, your normal kid. Um, we were the family that would say something like this would never happen to us, and yet it did. Um, my daughter was able to purchase a uh, what she thought was a Percocet via Snapchat and it was actually a counterfeit pill. It was fentanyl. Um, you know, that was a normal day. I thought she was sleeping in her room. She didn't wake up for a nail appointment. Um, we wanted to go shopping. I went upstairs and knocked on her door and I found her. Um, she was dead in her bed. And that is something that no parent <laughs> should ever go through um, and, and nothing in this world would ever prepare you for a moment uh, like that. And it does show you the dangers of that. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm a I'm a registered nurse. And so, you know, my uh, experience with fentanyl was real fentanyl, you know, uh, in critical care. I administered that for people that were dying and I was taken care of. It was not something I ever thought of in this aspect. So, um you know, I've been lucky enough to save a lot of people in my career, and uh, I, I just wish I was able to save her. Wow, you know, um, that, and she thought it was Percocet. This is a story we've heard from a similar story from a mother who lost uh, her child as well. A similar situation, buying what they thought was a Percocet, it ended up being fentanyl, which is and yes, which yes. is deadly. Is, yes. Yeah, talk Absolutely, to and that is what's so alarming right now. Kids are no longer safe experimenting, which is something that will not change. That will continue to happen. So now we have to raise awareness and make sure everybody understands that experimenting with whatever it is, marijuana, you know, vape pens, pills, whatever it is, the likelihood of it being pure fentanyl is much higher. Does this scare you now, um even thinking about, you know, what you're seeing now, then the, the packaging and nerds packaging in Skittles or um, the color of it even as rainbow colored now, um, obviously for reasons of being in Lego boxes, being snuck in, trying not to be noticed, but it's doing so by ways of things that are attractive towards children. They may not know what's inside there which is even more alarming, right? Because these kids are able to get their hands on it. 
They give it to their friends. They think, you know, my friend would never give me anything that could hurt me. That's my friend. These kids don't even know what they have, whether they're getting it from parents or other family members. So it trickles down to these younger kids. And yes, they're deceiving it and putting in these boxes to get it into our country. We all understand that. But kids are getting their hands on it much easier than anybody ever could imagine. Mm -hmm. You know, you hear parents say, my kids don't know these kind of people. My kids don't have access to this. They absolutely do. Mm -hmm. Misty, uh, who's responsible for selling your daughter that, that lethal pill? I know you said she got it through Snapchat, but was it a friend? What's the story there? Story is, is somebody um, in our community right here that's still walking the streets sold my daughter a pill. That individual is responsible for more than one death here in our little town. That's the truth. And there's no leads on that. It's it's an open investigation, but again, via Snapchat, it's almost impossible to get any type of conviction, let alone the horrible um, conviction process of fentanyl. You know, we're, our children are being treated like this is an overdose. We're out here telling people our children did not overdose. My daughter would not have died had she had one Percocet. My daughter died because she was poisoned with fentanyl. I will close on that. I got a little less than 60 seconds with you. Um, we recognize the difficulty about what you're speaking about, but you could be potentially saving lives by sharing your story and the story of Kaylee. If there's one thing you want viewers to know about your daughter Kaylee, and one thing to look out for, maybe if there's, you know, warning signs or anything you notice, I'll, I'll give you the floor here to tell us about Kaylee. Uh, she was amazing. Just the smartest kid. We had a big celebration for her last night and did a balloon release for her 18 month. And to hear her friends talk about her and to stand in her room and how this has impacted everybody is something I will spend the rest of my life trying to have any family avoid this type of pain. It's important, just talk to your kids. They know more than you think they know. Give them a safe space. Let them know that this is out here. Sometimes that is the only thing that can save your child. Well, we appreciate you sharing that story about Kaylee today and what she went through. Uh, one choice completely altering uh, a life of a young girl with aspiring dreams and a family as well. Uh, Misty Terragino joining us live with that. Misty, thank you so much for sharing that. We do thank appreciate you. best to you. Thank you. All right, stay with us.